Hi folks, on today's show, a five-star Portuguese read at a bargain basement price. Is this man to be believed? You betcha. Coming right up. Hi guys, welcome to yet another edition of Big On Wine, the show of course, which as you know brings you news, clues and reviews, indeed about everything in the world of wine. And over the last couple of weeks we've been on the trail of excellent quality budget priced wines and have I got another good one for you today. And it's this one here. My wine of the week is Esporau Colheta and the vintage is 2016. And this wine comes in for a price where I am of just under 14 euro a bottle. Okay, now let me tell you a little bit about this wine. Now this is from Portugal and it's not, surprise, surprise, from the Douro Valley, but from the southeast of Portugal. In fact, this is an officially a Vinho Regional Alentejano and it's made by Herdade de Esperau. Now, Herdade de Esperau are based a couple of hours or so southeast of Lisbon, um, in fact, close to the Spanish border. In this wine, we have an unusual combination. This is a combination, a blend of two red varieties. And in this wine, we have a quintessential uh, Portuguese traditional blend, the Turiga Franca, and blended with the Cabernet Sauvignon, which couldn't be probably more widespread or international. Now this wine has got 13.5% uh, alcohol. This is an organic wine, um, the first organic wine in fact made by Herdade de Esperau, and it's uh, actually produced uh, uh, lying for six months in tulip-shaped concrete tanks. So this is an interesting blend of the traditional and the modern. In fact, the winemaker for this wine is an Australian by the name of David Baverstock. All right, let's um, take a look at this. And as I say, this is a blend of two very different varieties, the Tariga Franca and the Cabernet Sauvignon. And in the glass, as we can see, if we take a look at the colour, we have a very dark, intense uh, shade of ruby red. It's a very thick and dense colour, as so many of these Portuguese wines are. Looks very nice in the glass. All right, let's try it out in the nose and see what we get. Here we go. Now that smells incredibly giving and rich. The nose on this wine, um, how would we describe it? I think dark and earthy are the first adjectives that come to mind. Um, the aromas which I'm getting are those of black currant and blackberry, but I think there's something else in the mix there as well. Um, probably closer to blueberry, so black currants, uh, blackberry, and maybe even a little touch of blueberry in there. And there is a kind of a herbiness, smokiness in the background as well. A very, very attractive nose to this wine. Okay, let's um, try it in the mouth and uh, see what we get here in terms of flavors. Mmm, excellent in the mouth. Now the first impressions in the mouth are of a full-bodied wine with a great deal, a large number of rich, ripe flavours to it and also fairly solid tannins, not overwhelming, not over the top by any means. I think we could call this wine tannic but certainly is not too much for the palate. The slight dryness in the mouth comes immediately. Let's try this again. Yes, indeed. 
Now that's being caused by good tannins in the wine, but also a nice dose of acidity there as well. So we're getting those um, flavors of the berries. In fact, the, in the mouth, the flavor is more in the direction of sour cherry than blackberry or blueberry. So sour cherry, it's that acidic touch which uh, points it in the direction of sour cherry, I think, with an ample dose of leatheriness and toastiness, which is extremely pleasant. So in the mouth, tannic, but not too much so. Uh, Full-bodied, ripe flavours, particularly the sour cherry comes through, leather and toastiness, um, a gorgeous balanced wine, uh, fruity, earthy, satisfying with good acidity and a long pleasant finish to it. Mmm, okay. Now, what more do you want for $13.99 a bottle? Now this wine is just crying out for red meat, a medium rare steak, a venison casserole, a chunk of hard salty cheese. Mmm. Serve this one around the 18 degree mark, I would say. Let's bring you the heads up on this one. Esporau Colheta 2016 is the vintage. A beautiful, keenly priced, organic blend of two varieties from southern central Portugal, traditional and modern in one package. Five stars out of five. Okay guys, many, many thanks for checking out this week's video and the little intro to an excellent uh, Portuguese wine, Esperal Colheita, vintage 2016. Lovely stuff at a great price too. Okay, if you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard, then please do feel free to give us the big thumbs up, which we appreciate so much. Drop a comment down below. We're always extremely happy to receive your comments. Follow me on my other social media platforms. And of course, share the video around to your heart's content. And hey, if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe by hitting that big red button somewhere up there behind me. I'll be back again next week with another great Wine of the Week for you. But until we meet again, this is Tony Melville signing off and saying, hey, be good to each other. Take care out there. Enjoy your wines and cheers.